hi friends uh, welcome to the uh, today tutorial session today I'm going to teach you how to install Moodle Moodle is a e-learning management system so we can see here now to install the Moodle and how you can start working on models so before that just you go to uh, the domain website moodle.org and then click on uh, downloads so you will see there there is a several uh, files are available like model 2.7 beta version then model 2.6.2 plus and is version of the modules having the two different types of uh, files one is a dot uh, tgz file and one is a dot zip file so you can download any of the file so just click on the download the download process will be start so once you save the files so after few times you will see that your models will be get downloaded so you can see that uh, already I have uh, downloaded the uh, models on the latest version so I just open the models folder that is the zip file and then you click on the extract to wherever you want to extract this model so uh, here I have already extracted in uh, some folder called name uh, e-learning so you can see that all the models files which are available inside this model folder like admin auth backup so everything is available I pasted here or just re re rename it so this video on the creating e-learning management system I'm going to teach you on the local machine the same process you can follow to deploy on live on your website so uh, on your system if you are using Windows 7 or Windows 8 so we have the something called a IIS so you open your IIS and uh, the thing is that now you are right click so here you have to add the domain so right click add a website then you can click give the any site name so I'm giving like e-learning so I'm giving e-learning the name now you have to select the physical path so I have used into the e-learning so this folder complete folder I have to select okay now you have the option for binding that means you are going to bind your project with the port number so I'm going to select just uh, the port number like any port number you can write it so I'm going to use 174 and uh, just remain everything as a default and if you want to test the setting you can see there something has the pass through the authentication I'll just leave as it is by default click on ok so you can see that now e-learning is added here so now right click on e-learning and then click on manage website then there is something called as browse so select the browse so when you click the browse the browser will be get opened and you just wait for a few minutes on uh, the Moodle's setup process it will be show you that uh, the first initial steps so now you can see that uh, the my uh, e-learning management system the folder which I have put it there and I started the website now it is telling you to proceed for installation of Moodle so now just leave it in the language whatever the language you want to choose either English or uh, any language you can choose it there are several languages available like uh, Francis is there also so I'm going with the by default English click on next 
so leave the remaining everything like uh, by default and uh, then go next so now it is asking to choose the database driver so you have the several options like database you can use the oracle you can use the sql server or you can use the uh, mysql so generally we will go with the uh, mysql the preferred one then click on next now it is asking to give the database host name then database name database username database password and what the prefix you want so already you should uh, install mysql software on your machine so just go and open your mysql so there is something called as mysql query browser so it will ask your your local machine or server host username and password so once you give the username and password your uh, mysql database will be get open so just right click create a new schema now you can use the name as So you can use any database name and just click on after giving the name click on ok so you can see there my database has been created but here uh, no tables are available just the database you have created either you can uh, go with the mysql command line prompt also so here you have to give the password of your local host it So here uh, we have already created the database so again it's not required so now uh, we know that uh, the the details so the database host name so you have seen that it is you are going to install on your local machine so host name will be your local host for the mysql database so database name so database name we have given like uh, e-learning give the same database name then database username so we have seen that username is uh, it was like a root and also the password is this what the password you have given of your local machine so it is uh, I have given here as a root you can change this table prefix or you can leave it as it is uh, it's not required to give the database post and post number so the database details we have entered now now click on next so installation will be start now you can see that the modules has uh, installed and it's uh, asking to some license agreement so just click on continue so now you can see that uh, uh, before the processing of model installation it will check the entire uh, the re required things which is required by the in installation of models so you can see that here everything is okay okay so if anything is come in the red color so you have to check it out and resolve the problem then you can proceed with the installation now click on continue here so it will take some time to configure the entire database setup in mysql so you have to wait for a few seconds until the next screen not load on your browser so just hold on for a few seconds
now you can see that after the complete process uh, now the screen the next screen everything is you can see here in green color success so just go below and you can see there is a continue button click on that so now the your model installation is approximately done now the thing <coughs> now the thing is that you have to give the admin credential so you can give username password whatever you would like to give so password you should be like uh, at least uh, eight character and one digit one lower case one upper case and at least one non alphanumeric password so you can give any password here so don't want to give the options to force change uh, first name you can write anything so share name you can write anything so, give your email id so if you want to display the email id yes or not you can choose the option so which format email format should be there there is a two like text format or student leave it as by default so leave everything by default city or town you can fill it country your location then time zone you can either select the server local time or you can select your uh, the according to your area so i'm leaving the by default oh, any description you uh, want to write so additional names first name surname optionals so leave if you want to give it like web page so you can give it your type ID so anything you can give it here and click on update profile so now you can see that installation is asking the complete site name you can write anything so if you want to keep the tag name you can give it the tag name So anything you want to display so if you want to click the which type of self registration or email based registration I'm selecting your email based so if you want to click the log file so leave it everything and click on save changes if you want to change your company logo you can change it so you can see here now your this is the screen of the first page of the models so it is uh, it has now successfully installed so thank you for watching i uh, will see that uh, uh, next session how to change the theme how to add the courses how to add the teachers and several features we will uh, implement it into our uh, model system and we can go through one by one 
thank you for watching